Hey folks, so I wanted to wanted to take a moment to talk about emotional maturity. And um, this is this isn't gonna be a very long one. Well, I want to give a an actual story of what happened recently this past weekend and to maybe I think a lot of people can relate to this and I just wanted to air it out there and um, let you take your you know have your opinion of it and see if it can relate to you. So a few months back, me and an individual had some words um, through social media. We didn't really make it public. We kept it private, which was, first of all, that was smart. You know, we kept it amongst ourselves and it was very brief, about 30 minutes of he and I going back and forth, um, both talking a big game to one another um, as it pertained to um, arm wrestling. And it, the, the conversation ended well. You keep that same energy on May 25th when I see you. Not so much that we was going to fight, but um, or that there was going to be a physical altercation, but it was going to be discussed amongst us. And um, so in the next few, and that was, I don't know, two months ago or so, well, a lot has transpired in the last two months with me personally. And, um, you know, one thing I'm glad I didn't do, I didn't share that between he and I, except with one other person, I believe, and I can't speak for him, but obviously he didn't speak about it to too many people because it never got back to me. And we have a lot of mutuals. So it never never really got discussed. Um, so respect towards him. A lot has transpired with me in the last couple months where I've been trying to better myself in, from many, many different aspects. And, um, you know, up until last week, I still had full intention in uh, addressing this matter with him because I felt uh, personally disrespected. I, at that time, felt that he deliberately took it upon himself to get out of pocket and disrespect me when it was unnecessary. That's how I felt at that time. He may not have felt that way, and so neither neither right nor wrong. Um, I believe I believe he felt that I made a bigger deal out of something that was small to him. So fair, I, maybe I did, maybe I did. But anyways, I thought about this for a couple months, and um, the. Uh, up until last week, I still had every intent in, you know, confronting him. Well, in the last, you know, 10 days or so leading up to the um, the event, I was just think about more. I was like, you know, what example are you setting for others? If you go to this event, an arm wrestling event that you um, you think so highly of the people running it, the organization, you think so highly of the organization, you're proud to be part of that organization, you... Um, or trying to demonstrate how a male should carry himself in society uh, to not only your kids but to other um, young men. Um, you wanted them to learn from your mistakes. What if this goes sideways? What if it's not just, what if it goes beyond just discussion between you and him? What if he's having a bad day and he snaps back? Or what if you, Alan, get emotionally wrapped up in this and are unable to keep it um, copacetic so I thought about this and you know and I, I made up my mind maybe the day before two days before and I said I thought to myself I said it's not worth it you know you work so hard to try to touch the lives of others to better them through your words through your experiences what the you're an absolute hypocrite if you go up there and show your Maybe not even intend to show your ass, but ultimately show your ass. So, um, I didn't. Um, didn't address it. Saw the individual. Uh, wished him luck. He did the same. Um, we was around each other the majority of the day. No, you know, we're not, we're not friends. We're not going out hanging out or nothing like that, but that's fine. You know, I, I have no ill feelings towards the gentleman whatsoever. Um, best I can tell, he's a he's a stand-up guy. He seems to be a good husband, um, dad. I, I, I don't, don't know him. I don't um, know him to uh, make any judgment on him. But to me, when it was all said and done with and even at the event, I was proud of myself and I was proud of him because we're well known, a uh, ton of mutuals there, and if this would have um, took a bad turn, it would have been a bad look on both of us. And 
both having young kids, a bit of bad look on us as fathers. Um, I'm not saying anybody does look up to me or um, look into the, my words or my advice that I, I try not to give advice, but my words and my experiences. But if there is, I don't want to discourage them from doing that anymore because I went and had a had a moment, you know. So it was in my power to control that situation, um, and he and I did a did a good job of it. So you know, a lot of you know, I thought of it before. Before I was like, oh, if you go to you don't say something, you're gonna look like a punk. And this goes back to what we've talked about so many times with pride. Look like a punk? What are we talking about now? Because I didn't potentially have an altercation with someone, I'm, I'm looking like a punk? No. I went up there and I handled my business, did what I went there to do, had a phenomenal time uh, refing and pulling, and um, he, he did well in his matches. Um, the uh, It was a great, great day, and all of that could have um, been ruined if here I couldn't have just been the bigger man which we were both of us were so like I said I'm not gonna say his name he I hope he does get to see this video and um, I hope his uh, efforts I hope he knows that his efforts are recognized as well because he could have easily um, taken that to a different level as well because I I said some uh, some smart ass comments to him a couple months ago as well so he could have easily made a, a bigger deal about this too so good kudos to him uh, for not doing, um, for not making a bigger deal of it as well. But anyways, I wanted to take this thing talk about emotional maturity and how not even five years ago, but two years ago, I wouldn't have done that. Not even a year ago would I have done that. A year ago, I would have gotten some liquid courage in me. Probably would have, um, probably would have been discussing it with him outside. And, um, Hell, he may be in the same boat. Your guy, he may be in somebody different too. So, what I'm saying is, you can grow as a person and swallow the pride. Quit trying to be alpha, fellas. Um, I'm a hell of a lot more proud of who I am, but and by the way he and I handled ourselves at that event versus if he or I would have had an altercation. And uh, come on, you know, nobody wins in a fight. It's not worth it. Coming from somebody that's been in many, 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 many of them, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Avoid it if you can. Um, but anyways, back to the original point, emotional maturity, growing as an individual, stopping, thinking, and check yourself first. Quit taking offense to everything. Check yourself first. What did you do in the first place that contributed to this being in this situation to begin with? And that's what maybe I took out of context what he was saying. So I need to check myself. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't whether you did or didn't take it out of context, you have complete control of this situation moving forward. So what are you going to do, Alan? And that's what I did. Um, but think about emotional maturity and how you can apply that to situations like this, uh, situations with your significant other, um, thinking, stopping and thinking. And really, we've talked about it before, um, responding versus reacting um, response requires thought reacting doesn't it's instinct so try to respond and not react love y'all uh, think about how you're changing today think about how you are making today better than yesterday think about you making your community better than it was yesterday your family how are they stronger than it was yesterday it is in your power to do those things make sure you're doing it love y'all